There are more than 200 shortcuts in Excel, but I have handpicked top 50 such shortcuts for you that you should know in order to increase your speed when you are working in Excel. Today, we are going to start a tutorial series of Excel shortcuts and this is part 1, so stay tuned. Hello, I am your tutor and welcome to my channel Learn in 5 Minutes. So let's start. Number 1. Expand or Collapse Ribbon This shortcut seems a bit silly. Until you realize that the ribbon is sitting there taking up 4 rows of space. Even when you are not using it at all. Use Ctrl F1 in Windows and Command Option R in Mac to collapse the ribbon when you don't need it and bring it back when you do. Number 2. Display the Paste Special dialog box. Shortcut Ctrl Alt V in Windows and Ctrl Command V in Mac doesn't actually finish the paste, it just opens the Paste Special dialog box. Further, you will need to choose the type of paste you want to perform. Number 3 Next and Previous Worksheet Many times, we need to switch back and forth between different worksheets in the same workbook. To do this, use Ctrl Page Down in Windows and Function Ctrl Down Arrow in Mac to move to the next worksheet to the right and control page up in windows and function control up arrow in mac to move to the worksheet to the left number four next workbook or previous workbook when you have to work between multiple open workbooks you can rotate to the next open workbook by using control tab and to switch in reverse direction add the shift that is Ctrl Shift Tab. Shortcuts are same for both the platforms. Number 5. Toggle Auto Filter. If you frequently filter lists or tables, then this shortcut should be at top of your list. With same shortcut, Ctrl Shift L in Windows and Command Shift F in Mac. You can toggle filters on and off for any list or data set. The best part is toggling off the auto filter will clear any filters that have been set. So if you have a multiple filters active, you can reset all the filters by using the shortcut twice in a row. Once to remove the filters which clears all filters and once again to add a new auto filter this is far faster than fiddling with each filter manually. I hope this shortcut will change the way you work in Excel. If you found this video useful, please like and share this with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, do it right now and press the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss on any new videos that I upload. See you soon in next video with part 2 of the series. Thanks for watching.